King Raid. <laughs> King Raid. Why can't we do a good game about cards? King Bon and Kai always just sitting right there saying, play me, goddammit. No one else will. Because Sean's refusal to continue LPs he starts and use up my hard drive because it's no cost but to look him. on the bright side. You'll have to edit out a lot less loading times. Because this game loads faster than... I edit overloading, not out, because we talk through loading screens. The only time I edit out loading screens is if we basically... Do you still get the, um, wallpapers for doing stuff? No. You do? No. Uh, in the, for, in the PS3 versions of these games, when you beat them, you get you can get wallpapers for your PS3. Does this one not do that? Have you played it? I'm not sure. I haven't played it. We're using Brian's PlayStation have a random Four. Keen Park Street memory background by the time we're done with this. <laughs> Whoa. Yeah. Next time, people. Fuck chain of memories. See this game. I have an Elgato HD 60 Pro on the way, so this is probably going to be one of the last recordings on my standard one. What a way to go. <laughs> um, sensible? Slightly. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Go to the beginning. Go to the beginning. This is an easy mode where enemies are weak, recommended for inexperienced players. The difficulty is well balanced in this mode. Recommended for first time players of the game. Why? Hold on, hold on, hold on. Yeah, no, yeah, Why I read that too. Why is that recommended for first time players of this game? I mean, I but mean. But beginners so, where is, is recommended for first time so, so, players look, of this look, game. Look, look. Here, here's how I'm reading that. First time you played Kingdom Hearts anything. First time you played anything. <laughs> first yeah, time, yeah, that, first time the, you picked up a controller. <laughs> Beginner is the mode uh, we would hand off to the, um, basically to young cousins. Oh. What? Cannot continue using this application. The disc cannot be read. What the fuck? What? 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 Uh, cut? Okay. So, uh... The enemies are tough in this mode for players who want thrilling battles. So basically, this is the difficulty I play if I wanted to spend any amount of time on this game. It's a basic, it's This sim- is the difficulty I play if I didn't think, you know, I don't want to do that. So we're just going to play this one. In other words, I see it as sensible. Not as sensible. Dark Souls Elite us. What are you ha, talking so, about? Man, man, it's close to Dark just... Souls. King I am proud I am like this close to using that disc reading error as a thumbnail. <laughs> uh oh. Wait, did, did I, we get the uh, remix? Um, did no, I get the song again? No, we no, remix. we get the remix. Everyone watching, um, <laughs> gets, um, get that gets an overture. Yeah. They're gonna get that that song. Song. You're not really annoying, high pitched one. No, 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 edit in jellyfish jam over this. <laughs> no, yeah. ever, no, everyone watching gets <laughs> the like. 14th Overture, or whatever the fuck. Or like hey guys, I, or like I said. Ryan's woman singing. <laughs> uh, I, Remix. You know what? Um, As just a joke from now on, anytime I'm editing Kino Hearts, I'm just gonna put royalty-free music and stupid shit over these. So, so I hope you guys... Like, um, orchestrated overtures from the, you know, decades and decades and decades like, ago. I'm not even going to say, like, the sound team remixed this. I'm saying, I am saying I say Namura went up to her and said, I need a remix of Simple and Clean. And she was like, all right, I'll get my team on it. <laughs> there and then, bam, she came out with this. Isn't this just the one from Team Hearts 1? It's 
the... Well, no, because Kingdom Hearts no. 1 is the big one. No, no, Brian. This is the uh, quick Kingdom Hearts 1 opening version, not uh -huh. the slow, long credits version. Kingdom Hearts 1 has both of these. Yeah, isn't this just the first really? one's first opening? Yeah, it's the... No, it's the opening version of the song. Yeah. The, the faster version... Look at that! Kingdom Hearts won when you beat it? He, he couldn't withstand Utada Hikaru's name being on screen. He killed him. This, <laughs> this version <laughs> of the song is often seen as the opening version. It's the faster one. When you beat... But in point two, they physically have the Ray of Hope remix. When you beat... I believe this is the Platinum remix. When you beat Kingdom Hearts 1, you get a five minute slow version. But you guys are just hearing an overture. Or something else, stupid. <laughs> yeah, uh, Ray, Ray of Hope, same thing. The girl was like, I need another remix. And she was like, I'll get my team on it. Bam, another hot and remix. So hypothetical question, Brian. If Tina Parts 3 didn't have Utada Hikaru returning. It would be less. <laughs> it, it, already it, start, it, would, it, would, it would easily go it's from like, a five to a three. It's <laughs> like uh, the pillows to fully cool it. Wait, it you, makes wait, the series. Did you start Kingdom Hearts at five? <laughs> Every game starts at five. Oh. Mm. Anyway, if so, it so, so I have not played Kingdom Hearts three, it started at a five. If it, it didn't have a, if it did not have a Uta Hikari song as a theme song, it'd be a three. <laughs> if anyone is wondering, wait, why are you editing out the music? You see, one time I thought we were talking loud enough and the music wouldn't be noticed, so I have a beautiful screenshot of Guys, what happens when I attempted that. In order to claim it, you must you see that the screenshot that I put on screen? Second question. I the have a full version released it before the game, and you terminated the best Utada Hikaru song. <laughs> Does that mean that Kingdom Hearts 3 goes from a 5 to like a 6 or 7? I have a. Just for having the song? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> no, Brian rates Kingdom Hearts game partly based on the Utada Hikaru song. Presence. Again, like I said, it is like oh, the okay. to so, fully cool, eh? This game. Or, okay, so you haven't played this game. So that, if you, if you, if you, if you if it was all you knew so far. Based on the fact that it still has simple and clean, does it gain bonus points? <laughs> yeah. So Kingdom Hearts. It's already, it's already, it's already oh, like a okay. six. Has so Brian played has, Chain of Memories? Birth by Sleep has simple and clean. Does it go from in any form? I've played Chain of Memories. I haven't beat Chain of Memories. Which Chain of Memories? I, I gave up on Chain of Memories. I played the Game Boy version. Uh, the Game Boy version is the better one. <laughs> eh, they're both bad. Uh. See, I like the Game Boy version because the bat honestly the battles are more fast paced and just more engaging. It does not translate well into 3D. Honestly, uh, honestly, if they had made a if they made a game similar but with a little more depth, like the Game Boy version, and made it 2D, I would still I, say that'd probably be a pretty damn good game. I feel like what they should have done for Chain of Memories was one of two things: either a make it full turn-based with the card battle well, they system. can't do that. Because, you know, turn-based is dead. Well, I mean, that's the thing about no, it. No, it wasn't that the dead whole, back then. The whole entire purpose of Chain of Memories was to basically find a way to integrate to, to, to integrate Kingdom Hearts combat onto the Game Boy so that you could have a, a handheld console, a handheld console game. Mm -hmm. The thing about that is, though, is that that was so you difficult okay that you? instead of just going with the standard, which was just to have... Every bit of Kingdom Hearts Chain of Memories without the cards, they introduced the cards. Because secretly, or at least my belief, the design team wanted to find a way to make Kingdom Hearts birth by sleep, and Chain of Memories was the prototype. Our very best friends. They're here. And birth by sleep was the finished product. And you're what I honestly felt the command was going to be a thing. Because it's the one thing that's carried through all of the yep, side games. I had it too. Even More though Birth by Sleep and 3D. Well, 3D, you yeah, might be able to argue with a side game. Contagious. But Birth by Sleep, I don't agree with as a side game. It's just an unnumbered prequel. Mm. They really wanted to find a way to have 
Kingdom Hearts Combat. Are you scared? But slow, but not so slow that it was like Kingdom Hearts 1. But here's my thing, is that the command deck carried through all the games, and then by point two in Kingdom Hearts 3, there is no command deck anymore. Yeah. I just think that's kind of strange. That's it. Who are you? That is kind of strange. Somebody sat down when they were making point two and said, make it like Kingdom Hearts 2. But you know what they did keep from Birth by Sleep? Shot yeah. It's not, apparently it's not as spammable and broken, and it's apparently linked to your Keyblades. So instead of switching through commands now, in Kingdom Hearts 3, we will be toggling through Keyblades. I should think that it's makes some amount of sense. But no, no, it doesn't. Well, situation. I mean, I, I, I mean, as far as I, I thought, I expected a lot more on the stage of the matter that I thought that we were basically going to get to a point. Oh my goodness! Castle Oblivion. But the still... audio is still playing if you can hear it. What the uh, hell? Here you will meet people that you have known in the past. And you will meet people you miss. You're literally still... What in the hell? It's... That time. It forced the flee objective of reaching the list. What is going on? Brian, did you get your PS4 from an Indian burial ground? Oh, well, that might be the problem. What? No. What is going on? What? what? Is this a bunch of fairy pets in the show? <laughs> okay, so just upload this like raw recording. It's like a part zero, everything done, fucked up. <laughs> But that was like super weird. Like, why in the hell am I? Are we still hearing the cutscene? And the cutscene is still happening. But game's like, oh no, it don't work. PS4 is haunted. That's the only answer I can come up with. <laughs> oh man, this is. <laughs> Where did you get this PS4? Uh, my brother bought it from a Best Buy. <laughs> it was really new. Yeah. With Uncharted. <laughs> this is amazing. Oh, you got the same bundle I did. This is amazing! Did you get them off? Yeah. Do we, oh, are they coming off already? Do we have any form of like rubbing alcohol or something? Because I rubbed or... down my shirt and they didn't come off. Hey Donald, <laughs> you don't have that problem in bed too, do you? <laughs> uh, I... <laughs> I don't need that middle picture in my sure head. Sure you do! Oh, well don't worry, these ducks have corkscrew penises. Yeah, I, I know they do. <laughs> And female dogs have a reverse corkscrew vagina because male dogs are rapists. You set foot in this castle. You forgot every spell and every ability you ever knew. Like I was saying about Kingdom Hearts 3, I feel like I'm slightly disappointed in the fact that Castle Oblivion. We have all this epic stuff. And I haven't seen anything really epic come from those Keyblade combinations yet. I'm disappointed in the fact it's gonna be unfinished. And you will meet people you miss. Probably will. Because point two, like, you, like, come on now. Point two and Kingdom Hearts 3 gameplay. Is is Sora doing things Aqua could do? Is she, is he though? Yeah, he does the fire, and the lightning, and the blizzard, and the blizzard slide. What'd you do? I he doesn't flow across the ground while he does it like she does. From them, I made this to reunite with oh, those this you game. hold dear. This game is bad. It's okay. No, it's bad. What's this? Is it bad that I was waiting for the game to it say that it wasn't going to work so that he could suck and be like, oh, you made a crash? Hold the car to open the door and beyond it a new world. 
Oh god damn it, we got the bad RNG. This is uh, I'm Exodia on the first opponent. Fuck. What's the Yu-Gi-Oh game that does that? None of them. The, no, there's one that someone can get like Exodia or the Egyptian god cards on your first battle. Oh, I don't know. Because the come on, uh, all of the game sets are 100% RNG. They are all randomly There was generated. a video I watched of a guy who was doing a speed run. It's Kingdom Hearts with cards. Oh, okay. I summoned Blue Eyes White Dragon. <laughs> I was watching a video of a... Also, he just kind of floated up them stairs. I in, mean, in Forbidden Memories, you can, ass you can essentially have a one hour speed run or 100 hour speed run. Depending I, on your RNG. I was RNG. watching a guy do a, a speed run. He was almost 20 hours in and loses to Exodia. It was great. Because, like I said, one of the games had the brilliant idea. Let's just uh, have the games set to be 100% RNG. This can't be right. We're in Travers Town. Please. What you see isn't real. Wait, then that means you're not real. Oh, fuck. This <laughs> town is an illusion created by your memories. My memories? This town is a creature of chaos. It may take many incarnations. Basically. Forget about that, Tara. Where are Donald and Goofy? Because, uh, it basically... Donald? Goofy? Guys, where are you? Because a chain of memories was written. What did you do with them? Master the cards, and their strength shall be yours again. Basically, it was we were on a Game Boy. We can't hold shit. <laughs> yeah, it, 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 um, a spoiler to just go right and out. With the exception of one kind of ish, all the worlds in this game are um, basically retreads of the worlds from the first Kingdom Hearts game, with the exception of Deep Jungle. The real reason for that is because of bizarre copyright reasons, but because this is entirely based on memories, it is my headcanon that Sora just forgot the events of Deep Jungle. He just completely forgot it existed. Don't we all? Looks like the game's working now. I guess the disc was just dirty. Brian's new never touched the disc was dirty. I mean, like I said, never touched it. Are you sure you weren't fingering it? <laughs> Look at the back of this CD. You got your finger on the hole. Yeah. Got mad at you because you were fingering a disc. What? <laughs> you have no more cards. Thus, you have no power. Ho <laughs> ho! It was I, Dio. <laughs> eh. Oh, Dio. Dio would make this infinitely better. <laughs> it was I, Marluxia. <laughs> oh man. So is anyone going to explain how the slots thing work, or... Uh, the games, Jim! What, what exactly should we be explaining? The games, the tutorials! Really, it's just we weren't really reading the text and he was going through it. Okay, fast. so... Well, uh, I'm, I'm not really 100% sure on how the mechanics of this game work, because most of them are very cut and dry, and they seem to have, like, these weird things. Because I was... I don't know about you, but when I played this game, for some reason, sometimes when you reshuffled your deck, you just didn't have the cards you reshuffled. I can... It, and I don't really know what so, that was about. No, I can explain so, that. two reasons. So, we haven't learned how to do it yet. We well, Air quote. Air quote? But, we will learn when we find Leon that we have slates. Some people pronounce it slide, as in slide of hand, slates. because it's a card. Slates. Or slide. Slates. Sean when says, you use a slate, <laughs> the top card of the slate is gone. If you, it will not come back when you reload. So when you, if you, um, also later you can get things called premium cards. Premium cards will always cost the least amount. So 
cards to go by how much they you when you will see it in a second about probably bringing it up but you can but you build your decks in this game and cards have costs based on how much their value is it goes zero to nine if a card is zero then it's like your wild card it can break anything but it's beaten but by it's it. beaten by everything so if a card is used you throw out a zero it'll break your opponent's card but if they throw out a card after that it'll break your zero right makes sense um and not and nines can only be broken by they can be matched by a nine which means that both attacks will cancel each other out and it can be by zeros ones cost less to fund your deck a premium card, no matter no matter the worth of the card, will always cost as much as a one. But to balance this, even though they cost the same amount as a one, when you reload your deck, they will not come back. Okay, guys. So my question of the day is: Did those two disc reading errors that happened make you guys laugh as much as it made me laugh? I thought I would ask because that was random and really funny. And that leads me to a very quick follow-up question I had. If you have a PS4 and you own the Kingdom Hearts HD collection, has your copy ever had any weird disc reading errors like this? Or has your copy ever crashed or done anything loopy? I thought I would ask because this seems to be a very, very random occurrence. Anyway, you can leave your thoughts, opinions, and answers in the comments below, or you can leave them on social media. All my social media links are in the video description. Now, as always, I need to be a shield for a minute. If you liked my video, please hit the like button and leave some comments. If you're new to my channel and want to see more of my videos, please hit the subscription button and subscribe. If you're already subscribed, please ring the bell next to the subscription button. That gives you the proper notifications of whenever I upload a new video. Also, don't forget to follow me on social media. Doing all of these things really helps out the channel, and it really helps our communities grow. Anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. See you guys next time.